morning you guys so today I just want to talk about some of the news headlining linings that's been put out there for us to see um, whether or not all of them are true or whether or not all of them are just tactics to bring good people down as you may have heard Cuban Gooden Jr. who is an actor that's been acting for years um, a lot of movies such his biggest one is Jerry Maguire Remember, he was like the football playing player, and Tom Cruise was his agent that said, show me the money. And then he goes back and say, show me the money. Made him famous, okay? He also played in Boys in the Hood, for those of you who like those movies as well. But long story short, he is now placed in jail under custody for stating that he groped a, f um, a female inappropriately. He's in jail. What happened to proven innocent until proven guilty are those rules thrown out that's a question that a topic of the day so for now just like in our case people are looking at you to be proven guilty before they try to prove your innocence no longer will the law abide by the rules that most people are proven innocent are assumed to be innocent until they are proven guilty once somebody say some false allegations against you, people run with it. It's like we live in, in a society where the negativity outrules the pop positivity. Meaning if you hear some negative information, people are quick to say, I want to be the first to tell the negative in, in information and spread it publicly. But if you say something positively, they want to whisper that and research it. For example, you can say, I just got my master's degree okay well, what would happen they will probably say oh let me research to see if she got her master's degree but let somebody walk up to them and say this person is a criminal I believe it I believe it and I'm gonna pass the word about it you know so that's what's going on in the world that's number one um, topic okay so the next topic is very important for mental health um, illnesses anybody that you guys have in your family you know that mental health um, illnesses does not our disability does not come in any colors it doesn't come in any form it doesn't come with a description that you can sometimes see physically because it's in the mental with his which it um, which is in the mind so at Costco a 32 year old was shopping with his elderly parents the 32 year old actually has a mentality of a 10 year old this, the topic is not coming out of what exactly happened, but it is announced that he was killed and his mother was shot and she's in critical condition and another stand buyer was shot as well in Costco right here in my city, the stores I shop, but I'm the one there watching. Come to find out it was said an off duty cop shot this man off duty. Yes, you heard it right. Off duty cop shot this man. My thing is they're not determining what caused it. They're not speaking about it. They're sweeping it under the rug. They're not releasing any identities of the un the cop that shot this man. All they have is a description from one of the shoppers of who he look what he looks like. Um, but they're not releasing the information. I feel wrong is wrong, right is right. Okay, and I feel within society, if you want to take these jobs that are high profile um that have high power that have high connections you have to get special training you can't just say i'm already in this field i'm in here i don't need help after a while they need to have some psychological testing to, to prove that they are still capable of handling the stress that this job um brings being a cop is not easy not once can i sit there and raise my hand and say i can be a cop no, I wouldn't even take that job if they offered it to me because it's high stress. It's high stress. You might turn out to have PSD after being a cop because right now they have so many enemies like we have enemies as well. I sympathize on both sides. Even though I'm being targeted by cops or being targeted by them, you guys are still human. Like I said, forgive them, Father, for they don't know what they do, right? So I don't have no hate, no ill intent. Um, to place or say anything negative i'm just going to speak what i feel is facts around the whole topic okay but my problem is that as a cop 
you should have special training to know when somebody has a disability or a mental ailment. You should be able to look and say something's off with this person. So why I'm arguing with them and why I'm so ready to shoot and kill? Why is it shoot and kill on spot even if you're considered off duty? Did this person cause harm to you? You have learned techniques to be able to tackle somebody without killing them. You have techniques to, um, you know, do some type of move where you throw somebody on the ground with the swift of one kick. So what, what are we going to do? So the topic today I want to talk about you guys is the topic of why so many people are getting accused of doing things that they're out of their norm and getting put in jail so fast and then the other topic is what are we going to do to help those with mental illness my son has a mental illness um it's not severe but he has a delay like if you were to ask him questions he'll probably just stare at you for a few minutes to try to comprehend what you're saying um so that can be signed of a disrespect because i had teachers in the past say oh i asked him a question he just looked at me He's trying to be defiant. I said no because he has a 504. His 504 did elevate it to an IEP with the help of me. Um, he doesn't, he's not being defined. If you were to do your research, if you were a teacher and you worked around certain students, you will see that something's wrong. He's trying to comprehend the information that's being received. So he's not being defined. And they go, oh, well, he doesn't, one teacher had a nurse and said, well, he doesn't look like he has a disability a teacher you guys with a degree so that's what i'm saying i call them educated stupids yes you heard it right educated stupids because once again it doesn't take a paper degree to show the knowledge and educational level that you have because some of you guys that don't have degrees know better that you cannot always see a mental illness the long story short so my goal is to get conclusions with you guys because he will be soon you know independent how can we find something to help society identify someone with a mental illness because handicaps they have handicap stickers they have handicap you know um physical um how you say it like a disability where you can see somebody might limp they might have, you can tell something's wrong right but people with mental health issues you can't tell so my goal was to get ideas out there to say what can we do for them can we find stickers to put on a car to say you know what so when they get pulled over by the cops the cops don't shoot them thinking they're being defiant because they don't understand instructions can we put something on a car green ribbons on a car can we make necklaces to wear around a neck so that police will identify that this person has a mental illness because this is getting out of hand more than one person i know has got killed in the hands of officers not understanding that they can't comply to your instructions because they have a mental illness so you know drop your comment this is a good idea this need to go viral we need to find something that people with mental illnesses can wear to help identify that they have a mental illness as well so that they won't get shot just because people assume that they're not complying all right i'm gonna leave you with that um drop your comments like you did we had a good topic yesterday and a couple of comments that helped me reassure me to do the right thing and to walk in the right direction about tactics that are placed against against us and how to handle them as you can see as i drive you guys this is in my dashboard a little saying it's all messed up because it's been through the storm because i had it for a while but i keep it in my car you see how it says remind me i'm dealing with a lot and please help me to keep my focus on you please let me feel your nearness help me to remember that you are in control and i do not need to be worried anxious or afraid i give you all that is weighing me down i keep that in my car every day but yeah drop your comments you guys we need to make this go viral people with mental illness need something to help identify with the cops that they have an illness that they're not being defiant all right talk to you guys later